My man's all make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? Uh, so this video, I want to give you five tips for editing a podcast to make for a more efficient and more speedy workflow when editing a podcast. So th I've been recording and editing the Cashmere Thoughts podcast. We're uh, going to be doing episode 18 tomorrow. Uh, here in front of you, I've got episode 15. And the first tip that we're going to go over here is uh, changing your time base to seconds. So... Studio One, by default, is going to load your time base into bars. Most times you're dealing with Studio One, you've got music, so you want to do beats and bars. However, a podcast is not uh, bar-based, it's time-based. So we're going to just right-click here at the top, time base, and we're going to select seconds. And at the bottom, uh, we're going to click on that and select seconds as well. So now we have a time we have seconds and minutes now to represent where we are uh, in the podcast. Uh, tip two is going to be grouping your tracks. So for the two speakers for the podcast, I've got two tracks here. And you can see right now I've got them grouped. Uh, to, uh, to remove your group, shift Apple G would remove it. And how like the tracks, Apple G would group it. With it grouped, I can now highlight and select both tracks at the same time. So now if I'm uh, doing a cut or edit, I can affect both tracks at the same time. Uh, with a podcast, even if one of these tracks get moved 10 milliseconds out of place, it's going to really throw the whole podcast off. So you want to make sure that your tracks are grouped so everything stays in time. Uh, the third one is Ripple Edit. Uh, this one is huge and it saves a lot of time. So with uh, Ripple Edit does the same thing that essentially shuffle mode would do in Pro Tools. So you turn it on by selecting this. Well, let me first show you without it. So without Ripple Edit, if I highlighted uh, this space here, let's, uh, let's try to find some, some dead space here. Here's just a little bit here. So say I highlighted this space and I hit delete. Now I've got to grab everything to the right and pull it over to the left. So this is an hour-long podcast. That would take a long time to do that each time I make and edit. With Ripple Edit, select it there. Now when I delete something, it's going to take everything to the right and pull it to the left. So that's going to save a lot of time when you're editing a podcast. My number four is the cursor follows edit position. So with this one is, let's see, say for example, so you see my cursor is here and I'm going to make an edit here. When now, we're adults. So you can see that the it's playing from where the cursor was, not where I did the edit from, which isn't really helpful for me. So I'm going to turn on cursor follows edit position. And now you can see when I make an edit. So we can, we got, we have to stop looking at our parents to do things. Now it's going to play from where I made the edit. So for a quick example of how you can use ripple edit, I'm going to play this, I'll play a little bit of the podcast here, and uh, you'll hear uh, one of the speakers fumbling over some words, but we're going to edit that using Ripple Edit and the cursor follows edit. We got to be the ones to do it. Like, so we, can, we, gotta, we have to stop looking at our parents to do things that people our age should be doing now. We're adults. Okay. So we're going to take, let's see. We got to be the ones to do it like so we can we got we have to stop like this part here. So we can we got we have to stop looking at our So let's let's remove that. So we can we got we have to stop looking at our parents. We have to stop look So I'm going to highlight that and make sure my group is on so it selects both. I've got ripple edit on. And so make that cut. We have to stop looking at our parents to do things that and Now let's take a listen. 
we got to be the ones to do it. Like, we have to stop looking at our parents to do things that people... And before... We got to be the ones to do it. Like, so we can, we got, we have to stop looking at. And after. We got to be the ones to do it. Like, we have to stop looking at our parents to do things that. I've never used the ripple edit before, uh, but now that I've been editing a podcast, this saves so much time. So the last tip is when you're bringing in files into Studio One, multiple files at once. So I have background music that plays throughout the podcast and I'm going to grab these five files here so moving these files into studio one studio one is going to just by default add a different track per file if you hold command now these tracks will all add to one track which makes it very easy for adding in things like background music into the podcast it's be very you know time consuming to bring it in, have Studio One place it on each individual track, and then you move that file all to the same track. So a very easy way to get all of your files when you're bringing in multiple files onto one track. Well, so there you go. Those are uh, five tips for more efficient podcast editing. Uh, be sure to check out the Cashmere Thoughts podcast. Uh, it's been picking up uh, new listeners every week, and everything's been going well with it. So you know, be sure to check it out. It's on Spotify, uh, Google uh, Podcasts. It's on Pocket Cast, and you know, just pretty much anywhere that you can uh, listen to podcasts at. All right. Uh, any questions, comments? Let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.